if you are a chocolate lover, like I am, then you are going to love today's recipe. Lynn Tolly is calling it Chocolate Lover's Valentine's Pie in honor of Valentine's Day, but you'll definitely want to make this all year long. As always, love it when you are in the kitchen, especially when you bring anything chocolate into the kitchen. That's even better. Leland, you're going to love this, and it's easy. Okay. Really, the hardest thing we're going to do is melt the chocolate, and I'm going to tell you how to do that. <laughs> okay. But while I'm doing that, this is a cup of sugar, and we're going to add two tablespoons of flour. Okay. Now, whisk that in, would you, so right. we'll make sure that's nice and, and uh, combined. And I will tell you about the... Um, melting of the chocolate, you take a cup of chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important to use a high grade chocolate. And in the grocery store, you can get Ghirardelli's. That's about one of the best ones uh, because you want really good chocolate in this pie. I can attest to that. that yeah. That's one of the good yeah, ones it is there. Good. All right. So it calls for a cup. I put maybe a cup and a fourth because I want it to be extra. really good. And we're going to put in uh, two-thirds cup of evaporated milk, just evaporated milk, mm -hmm. and two tablespoons of butter. Put this in the microwave. Okay. Set it for 10-minute intervals. And on this one, you want the real stuff on the butter, too? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, real stuff. So every 10 seconds, you want to stir it because what we want to do is just melt the chocolate. We don't want to cook it. Ah, so okay. it might take three or four 10 second segments to mm -hmm. melt it. Okay. So see, it gets nice and beautifully yeah. mixed. Uh, right. So I'm going to add that to your concoction. Okay. So that's the sugar, the flour. Now we've got um, our chocolate in there. And with a whisk, you can stir that together. And I think salt is real important in this recipe. You need about a half a teaspoon of salt. Mm -hmm. Now, we are going to add uh, two eggs, so I'm but one one at a time. One at a time. All we'll right. go ahead and just barely and just mix beat them ahead of time up. too. Is that best? Yep. Okay. And when it's barely combined, I'm going to put the next one in. You don't want to overdo it. Now let's put a little flavoring in here. All right. So let's put about a teaspoon of vanilla. Got and that then going. we're going to do a teaspoon of Uncle Jack's Tennessee whiskey. Uh, you know, the Sinat Frank Sinatra guy, Rick, was really interested in this because mm -hmm. Frank Sinatra loved Jack Daniel. <laughs> and, and for you two, when you say Uncle Jack, it, it truly is an uncle. It's not just a saying, right? <laughs> no, no. Uh -huh. It's the real thing. The real thing. So stir that together. Now, while you're stirring that, this is a couple of pecans, and I toasted them ahead of time. Okay. All right. And I'm using a graham cracker crust. You you can use a pastry crust if you'd like, um, but I, the graham cracker is easy and you buy it in the grocery store already right, done. Okay, so already. now, pull your whisk out because you won't be able, once we put the, uh, you can prop it in this bowl. Okay. Once we put the nuts in, it won't whisk anymore. And just stir that together. And our oven is 375. All righty. Preheated and you pour your batter in there. Now, I tell you, a nine inch you're not going to be able to get all the batter in there. If you have a little extra batter left over, you can always put it in a little cup and, and let it cook beside the pie. Okay, Ooh, all right. Or you can do that. Yeah, all go right. ahead. Take a big old finger full. Mm. So uh, 35 minutes, mm -hmm. you don't want to over bake okay. it. And then I topped it with some Jack Daniel whipping cream. So that's just a... Uh, Jack Daniels has his own licking, uh, whipping cream? No, I'm going to tell you how to make it. Oh, okay. So it's whipping cream and put a tablespoon of sugar. You don't need it too sweet because our pie is so sweet. And about a tablespoon of whiskey. Okay. Beat that together and that's great with chocolate especially. Ooh, so it is looks really good. good. Recipe number 5309 on line right now in the talk of the town recipe section at newschannel5.com and go down and see the folks at Miss Barry Bobo's they do. will cook you hook you up come see us in Lynchburg perfect time of the year everything's boring and cold here just mm. drive to Lynchburg All right.